on it's savage here and it is madden season now fellas as you can tell i'm on xbox right now so obviously you guys know i'm a ps4 player so my ultimate team series this is just a self plug won't start until next week but that doesn't mean i can't help you guys who are already playing on ea access and those who are looking forward to get the game next week with your schemes i found a really good offense and a really good defense it's 500 likes on this video and i will drop the defense as soon as possible but in this video, we are going to be rocking out with the Browns offense. I'm going to be showing you a run play and a few passing plays to help elevate your scheme right away. Let's hop into these plays. Now, running the ball this year is super OP. And you guys know I'm a run-heavy guy. I love running the ball. Running the ball is one of my favorite things to do. iForm Pro Power O is just as glitchy as it was last year. So we're going to be picking iForm Power O. We're going to be going up against a run-heavy set, which is the 5-2. The 5-2 has seven players in the box. We'll go up against the fire zone two. So, as you can see, there's seven players in the box. Five down linemen, two linebackers. That might be kind of tough to run against, right, fellas? <laughs> Not with me. All we're going to do is, is we're going to click X or square, and we're going to flip the set by clicking RT or R2. We're going to slide our line by clicking LB or L1 and right stick to the left. So, we are going to slide our line to the left. Now, the play is ready to go. After you flip, after you slide, you run. Now, before I even hike the ball, I just want to let you guys know a few things. In ultimate team and in obviously head-to-head -head, the game plays a bit faster than practice mode so if it works in practice mode it's gonna work even better in ultimate team why because you can choose the players with that with the stats that you want for example David DeCastro is pretty slow you might want a little bit of a faster guard Xavier Grimble's not the best run blocking tight end you might want a tight end that can block a little better but if it works in practice mode it works in ultimate team right here we're just running the ball to the left and it's looking like it's working pretty well in practice mode so far but savage you got to do it again you can't just do it once and say it works like i said you are going to of course face obstacles you might bump into your lineman which is going to happen tons of times you might bump into your fullback somebody might miss a block or you get a lane right to the end zone it happened in madden 17 it happened in madden 1999 but as long as you are doing exactly as i say flipping the set and sliding the line to where you want to run it more times out like nine times eight times out of ten you won't run into any problems like a bump inside of your alignment even right there we just bumped into david de castro i don't know if you guys saw that but we did just bump right into david de castro and we were still able to pick up a monster gain that is iform pro power o let's hop into the next play so fellas a lot of you guys know i love bunch Bunch is one of my favorite formations. Gun Bunch was so OP. I'm going to be showing you verticals against cover two, cover three, and cover four. And I'm going to be showing you PA post against cover two, cover three, and cover four. I'm going to show you all the adjustments you need to make, etc., etc. So first, I'm going to be selecting verticals out of Gun Bunch. And we're going to be going up against a simple Tampa two. Now, all you're going to need to do is you're going to want to click Y. You're going to want to motion. You're going to want to streak your tight end. So you're just going to click Y R B and then left stick up. So your tight end's now on a streak. Double clap. Double click Y to obviously pick your running back and then a left stick to the left to put him on a table route and you just let the magic happen as you can see right here we just got a check down right there which is money you know your check down is just for like two yards tops you might get this is against the tampa two fellas so that tampa that that tampa cloud flat on the left side of the field is going to play levy on so you're not going to or whoever your running back is so whoever your running back is might not get too many yards against the tampa two but the money read that you want is a right across the middle you're going to see a get butt naked right there and you're going to deliver a dot so you got two reads against the tampa two and of course you could always audible to a run a halfback base but I will show you that in a different video. Now I'm going to show you PA Post, which is in the same exact formation, Gun Bunch, against Tampa 2. So now, fellas, we selected out of the same formation, PA Post. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to streak your tight end and once again put your uh, running back on a table by double-clicking Y and doing the left stick to the left. Then what you do is, is you're going to want to go to Martavis Bryant. Now this is where we get glitchy. Right stick... The right or the right analog or not the analog stick the right on the d-pad because they, they changed motioning this year the only way you can motion it's not with the stick it's with the d-pad click right on the d-pad as soon as he is in the middle of the 30 and about to set you hike the ball i'll show you what i mean better it's better set shown than said so right here as you can see he's right at the 30 you hike it he doesn't even get a full set look at him wide open that's a dime right there right fellas there's actually even another read you can make once again same exact adjust oh same exact adjustments in the pa post gonna want to go over to bartavis bryant 
Gonna want to put him on that little motion. Watch how wide open A gets right here. Look at A right across that middle for a dime. And you also have your check down to Le'Veon Bell. Now I'm going to show you these two plays against cover three. Now here is verticals against the cover three. You have the exact same reads. You have your check down, which I'll show you right here. Check down gets a little bit more open because they're in purple zones. As you can see right there, we got an easy three to five yards. Once again, same exact adjustments. I'm going to show you how A gets open. Now right here, this is where you're going to find a little bit of a mishap when you're using a, a team like the Steelers. Eli Rogers doesn't have the best route running in the world. So it took him a very long time to get open behind that cover three, but we still completed the pass. Just remember, if it works in practice mode, it's going to work with your ultimate team. Once again, same adjustment, streaking the tight end, putting Le'Veon on the table. This time, you're going to motion Martavis Bryant out. This is against cover three. Motion Martavis Bryant out. As you can see, he's out there. Watch how open he is. And he runs right up the field. That's a quick dot right there. Breaking a tackle almost. That's against cover three with verticals. I'm going to show you PA post against uh, cover three right now. Alrighty, fellas. So here is PA post once again. I'm going to show you the check down now against cover three. Le'Veon gets wide open. Since there is a C route on the left side of the field, he's picking up about a first down right there. Then once again, we're going to be showing you PA post against cover three. Again, motion out Martavis Bryant. Let's let him do that little delay step. Look at the little delay step right there. Getting wide open across the middle for just about a first down. And then the exact same play, the exact same adjustments. Except this time, we are going to see if we can hit good old Eli Rogers. There it is, baby. That is how you torch a cover three. Now I'm going to show you these plays against cover four. Alrighty, fellas. So here is cover four now against verticals cover four against verticals not too shabby we got Le'Veon Bell right to the flats it's the same adjustments every time so you never have to worry about making the wrong adjustments you're just streaking and table route streak table route then once again now let's motion out Martavis Bryant a little bit let's see how wide open Martavis Bryant gets against the cover four right here oh my goodness Look at Martavis Bryant, the sidelines, all his against that cover four. And now right here, like I said, this is a forewarning. I'm going to try to hit A. It might not work. He is he has very low, Eli Rogers has very low release and very low route running. So what you want to do is, is you want to wait for him to kind of get past that middle linebacker. See how he kind of ran that route a little lazy? It worked though. Just remember, it's working in practice mode. It's going to work on your ultimate team, your connected franchise. Now I'm going to show you PA post against this defense. We're going up against a cover four. Here's PA post. First, what we're going to do, let's see the check down. Look at that check down right there. Le'Veon see on the edge all by himself, picking up a solid gain, right fellas? That is all you want to see out of your running back. Now once again, this is, oh, once again now, we are in PA post. We're going to try Kind of motion let's see let's see how the motion does against cover four there it is right across the middle martavis bryant picking up a quick eight yards and then one more time out of the pa post we are going to see the a route let's see can he get open is the route going to be there let's see it very slow route running but it doesn't matter eli rogers with the catch guys now i'm going to show you the final play in this offense that is, in my opinion, one of my more favorite riskier plays, but it's definitely a good one. I'm going to hop into that right now. Now, fellas, unfortunately, they don't have snug flips. They have tight slots, and they have a version of mesh. It's called mesh switch. It's actually not too bad. I was looking at some of the other plays, but they're, they're just not for me. They really aren't for me. So we're going to have to run mesh switch this year. And what I'm going to do right here is, is I'm just going to show you it against a cover two. Right now against a cover two. So as you can see, what we're going to do is we're going to go over Xavier Grimble. You see how Xavier Grimble's on that post? Whoever the post receiver is, you want to motion them over to whatever, to the opposite side that they're on. So if they line up on the left, you want to motion them to the right. If they line up on the right, you want to motion them to the left. Then you're going to just block your running back and you're going to drag Mar whoever isn't on the regular drag route. You see here, I'm going to show you it again. Martavis Bryant is what you would call a high drag right now. See how his drag is a little bit higher than Antonio Brown's? So you want to put him on a low drag so that their drag routes are equal. Then you just want to make sure you motion over whoever's on the post route, block your running back. Your read right here is going to be A because you want to try to get a high pass. And when you high pass, it is you hold down LB or L1. I'll show you that right now. So as you can see, he's coming across that middle. There's the high pass, and that is going to be a dot right there, as you can see. Now, ready? Let's say, oh, Savage, Savage, Savage. You ran it from the left to the right. Can you run it from the right to the left? 
Of course you can, fellas. I would not pick a play that you can't obviously flip the set to. So now instead of the route starting on the left side, we're going to start the route on the right side of the field, which is Eli Rogers now. And once again, I'm going to just hike the ball. Wait, wait, wait. Gets right behind the defense. And of course, Eli freaking Rogers just couldn't catch it. But as you guys can see, I'm pretty sure, guys, I'm pretty sure you guys understand the whole entire concept of it. Whoever that post route is, you want to high pass to them. You want to be holding down. I actually think that's why he didn't catch it. He is kind of a short dude, isn't he? Eli Rogers is a short guy, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to try that one more time to my man, Eli Rogers. Eli, look at him aggressive catch it. That was just some Stevie Reed right there. But as you can see, you kind of want to use a bigger target. Xavier Grimble's like 6'4". He, that's exactly why he got like right behind the defense. He's huge. He has pretty solid route running actually for a tight end. And he's just, you know, he's just a high, he's a high pass meta, I guess you could say. Now, of course, don't get me wrong. Oh my God, Savage, is this the only route on this play? Do I only have the ability to just throw it to Xavier, Gr or to throw it to that post route? Whoever is on that post route, is that my only read? Of course not, fellas. You have two drag routes coming right across that middle. Look at that. You can pick your poison. If they're using it, they have to either use the post or the two drags. Can't use her all three. It's going to be super, super frustrating for your opponent, obviously. They're not going to know who you're going to hit, especially if you run the play several times and throw the ball to a different receiver each time. But right here, I'm going to try to hit that high pass one last time. Look at him, man. Wide open. This six foot four beast right there, man. Great play. I think he actually, did he just drop that? It doesn't matter, man. I'm pretty sure you guys understand the concept, but I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a thumbs up on it. Share it with your buddies, man. If you're trying to get better at Madden, you guys got to click that subscribe button because I'm going to be participating in Mutt Champions every single weekend once the game is fully released, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. 500 likes for my defense and just let me know um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know if this was a good enough helpful video. Let me know if I went a little too fast. Let me know what I could do to improve for the defensive tutorial once you guys get 500 likes. Subscribe if you're new, fellas. Have a wonderful rest of your night.